Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to generate stunning AI images in Photo Director 365. First, let me briefly show you a few examples of what I'm going to cover in this tutorial. In this first example, you write a prompt to describe the image, then choose the type of image, and then Photo Director will generate the image based on your prompt. So, for example, I use this prompt and you want to be as descriptive as possible to get best results. And it generated beautiful images like you see here. In the second example, which is text to face, you write a prompt to describe the scene, and then you upload an image of yourself or someone else, and then Photo Director generates the image based on your criteria. So for this example, I used this basic prompt and then uploaded my image. And then these are the images that were generated by Photo Director. In the third example, which is text to pose, you write a text prompt to describe the person. Then you upload an image of a specific pose. And then Photo Director generates the image based on that criteria. So in this example, I use another basic prompt like so. I uploaded an image with a pose. And then these are the images that were generated by Photo Director. And finally, in the fourth example, which is text to outline, you write a prompt, upload your image as a reference, and Photo Director generates the image again based on the criteria. So for this example, I again use a simple prompt. I uploaded the image, and these are the images that were generated by Photo Director. Pretty cool, right? So let's get started. In the new version of Photo Director 365, you'll see these options when you open the app. Now they constantly make changes, so these options may look a bit different. But from these options, you'll essentially choose Gen AI Studio. And then it'll open the Photo Director app in Gen AI Studio mode. So I'm going to cover this top section called Text to Image. And as you can see, there are several options there. So let's start with Text Prompt. I'll click on Start Now. And you'll see this pop up. Enter your AI prompt into this box. Next, choose the Aspect Ratio. I'll go with 16 by 9, which is Landscape. Next, you choose a style of the image. As you can see, there are many different styles here. So let me scroll back up, and then I'll choose this one, and then click on Generate. You'll see this pop up indicating that you are going to need to use your AI credits. Click OK, and then it essentially starts generating the AI images based on that criteria. And as you can see, it has done a really good job with this one. Down below, you'll notice that it generates four images, as you can see. And if you click on My Creations, it will show you all of the images that you've generated. You can then click on My Creations once again here to go back. You can also use this Download button to download it to your local drive. So now let me show you the next example. In this left side panel, I'll click on Text to Face. And then I'll click on Short Now. You'll see this dialog box pop up for the images that are recommended for best results. Click on Continue. And you'll see this pop up, which is similar to the one that I showed you in the first example. Entry a text prompt into this box. Choose the aspect ratio. And then next, you just click here to import the image. You'll see this dialog box pop up. I'll click on this icon, choose Local Drive, and then go to my folder, select my image, and then click Open. Here is the imported image. So I'll click OK. And here is the image. Next, we need to choose the style. I'll scroll down and then choose this one, and then click on Generate. Again, you'll see this warning message about using credits. I'll click OK. 
and it will then start processing the image again based on the criteria. And as you can see, these are the images that are generated by PhotoDirector. Now let me move on to the next example. In this left side panel, I'll click on Text to Pose, then click on Short Now. You'll see this pop up dialog box for images that are recommended for best results. I'll click on Continue. You'll see this pop up, which is similar to the one that I showed you earlier. Enter your prompt into this box. Choose the aspect ratio. Next, I'll click here to import the image. You'll see this dialog box pop up. I'll click this icon. Choose Local Drive. Go to my folder. Select my image. And then click Open. Now, this time I got this warning message saying that my image may not result in good quality output. But I decided to just go ahead with this and just see how it performs. So, here is the imported image. I'll click OK. And here is the image. Next, we need to choose the style. I'll choose this one and then click Generate. You'll get the warning message again that uh, you'll be using your credits. Click OK, and then it will start processing the images. And here is the image it generated. And here are a few more examples. Now, let me show you the final example. In this left side panel, I'll click on Text to Outline, then click Start Now. And again, in this dialog box pop up, I'll enter my prompt into this box. I'll choose the aspect ratio. I'll click here. And then from this dialog box, click on this icon to upload my image from the local drive. From the folder, I'll choose my image and then click open. And here is the imported image. I'll click on OK. You'll see this pop up asking you to choose a reference area. I'll click OK. And then you can choose these handles in the corners to crop the image if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as is and click OK. Uh, next, we need to choose a style. I'll choose this one and then click on Generate. From this dialog box, I'll click OK, and then it will start processing the image. And here is the image that it generated. And here are a couple more examples of the image. That's pretty cool, right? But uh, that's pretty much it. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.